Hello, and today we're at Epcot. We're here for the, the Festival of the Arts, basically a great big party for Figment. <laughs> so we got my Figment attire ready and we have a lot of food to eat, a lot of new booths, a lot of new foods. So we're going to have multiple parts of this festival. We got Mark Emmett's with us, but he's... He's sleeping. So I'm sure he'll join us a little later. And uh, are you hungry? Oh yeah. So yeah, let's go get some food. All right, let's go look for some merch. Let's see if anything's new. We're gonna first check under the ball. See what they have. A ton of plushies. If you can get a popcorn bucket, you can always get a plushie figment. And then we have some 50 here. Some cute mugs. I like this Daisy on. I don't think she gets enough love. Oh, the castles and the monorails on sale here. Such a, like, so tempted. I'm not seeing anything new, but I didn't see this before. So that's cool. A hundred. And these are new. I wonder if they're trying to sell them together with the hundred. and I'm not seeing a lot of new merch but I am seeing the new Festival of the Arts merch. So that's cute. Create your own magic. And it has Figment in the front too. We have the Tumblr. $44.99. Wow. Because it's Corksicle. Kind of crazy. Smug is cute. He look a little crazy though with his mouth open. <laughs> $24.99. It says add chalk, chalk here so you can chalk art on your mug. Have a fruity fig bar figment munchlin. So it does have like wings, the horn. It does smell good. It smells fruity. But it doesn't look like figment. I wish it wasn't like but I think it's supposed to look like the food. I think that's the whole jizz, right? So it has the, f the fig bar. See this fig inside, and this is the bar. Cute fit though. I don't think they sell these leggings here, but they go really well with this <laughs> spirit. They do have Luna New Year stuff already, which is nice. It's coming up, it's the year of the rabbit. This one is $44.99. They have a little purse for $50. They have a little small little jackets, cute for kids. They have the t shirt 2023 Year of the Rabbit. It's cute that they're using different rabbits, like from all the different movies. I really like that. And this jacket is $89.99. Let's 
and the ears. They did have ears that came out with this collection. And they're not here yet. All right, now we're in line to get our annual pass magnet. Didn't know they were doing, it's Dumbo this time. It would have been cute if it was Figment because, you know, we're at the Figment Festival, right? But Dumbo's okay too. All right, so we've got our magnets. Let me show you. So anybody with an annual pass gets a magnet. So now one will go in the car, one will go in the house, on the fridge. It's always cute. So now let's go see. I gotta get into the queue for the figment popcorn. Then we can go get some food. All right, first up, we're gonna have the Craftsman Courtyard and we're having the Beef Wellington with mushroom duck salad, prosciutto, puff pastry, and red wine demi glace with baby vegetables. It is a very small portion. Comparison, I thought it was a little bigger. But let's see how it tastes. that was heavy with the duck cell sauce um, with the demi glaze I mean and demi glaze is very like a concentrated um, like uh, beef glaze um, so it can be salty so mine was a little bit salty um, I'm gonna try a piece without the what else the demi glaze Very good. Not salty at all. So, not bad. Small portion though. I just saw somebody else had a bigger, way thicker cut than I did. So, I might have been like one of the, like the, they were trying to, you know, make it last that round before they got a new one. Um, so, they cut them a little thinner. So, that's unfortunate. It was $8.75. And that was like a three biter, right? <laughs> Mark's not happy. He's sad. He, he's still hungry. Let's go. Guys, like my new sunglasses. I didn't even say anything. Like, look at how the Mickey symbol on the side. Mark just spotted for me. Very cute. I'm feeling them. Can you tell? Okay, the very anticipated modern is the new booth this year. It used to be the donut box. I'm not um, but it is now modern and we are right next to test track which is a very loud <laughs> not conducive for videoing but that's okay make it work so we're gonna have the angry crab angry crab whole crispy soft shell crab with green papaya salad mango sriracha fluid gel oh so these like Coconut lime foam and pomegranate and mango crushed pearls. So that's what the pearls are. The gel's underneath, so it's a little spicy. You can just pick it up with your hand. I got a hand sanitizer one. Ooh, it's like a crab still. Oh yeah, it's a full crab, shell and all. Really? A soft shell crab. That's good. Yeah? That's good. I'm worried that you're not going to like it. Why? You can taste the ocean. You can taste it. It's, it's oceany. Yeah. But well, I mean, you might like it. It could be wrong. Try, try some of the dipping. Like the coleslaw with the crab. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then like this sauce, that sauce. Okay. Alright, so you would like it with the sauce. I feel like I'm going to like it without the sauce. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's much softer than I thought it would be. Mm. Tastes really good. I like it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Happy, I didn't think you were going to like it. It's pretty salty. Yeah.
I love boba. Boba pearl. I don't know if I like it with the crab. Really? See, I thought that was going to take the, the oceany part away that you, I think you would like. And I'm not getting like when I thought he said that, I thought it was going to be like fishy, like oceany, and I don't really care for that. But it's not. At least this crab isn't. Yeah, like, I know I'm eating seafood, but it's not overpowering. It's like calamari. Fried calamari. Coleslaw. This has a vinegar base. These bubble pearls do taste good. Mm. We have the pan seared scallops with van vanilla butternut squash puree, brown butter cauliflower puree, and lime foam. And this is a part of the color me, the color, co color walk, basically like the cookie stroll. Colorful cuisine, wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. So we get to pick one. We do five and we get a special prize at the end. So, oh, I did just read it, but it doesn't say what that black thing is. Weird. But that black thing is basically like a really burnt piece of maybe cheese. I don't know what gives you that effect, but here's the scallop. Salty sweet. I love butternut squash puree. So, and the scallop was good actually. Really good. So, it's burnt, right? Yeah. I don't think it's cheese though. But I don't know what can cause that. Like, same texture, same look. It might be, but. It's completely, the flavor's gone. It's just a burnt chip. It's like the pieces that are left on the grill. <laughs> you know those black flakes? That's what I Listen, feel. I'm definitely getting oil. That's what I get from that. And it doesn't say what it is on the description. I don't know. I don't want it with a scallop anyway. Yeah. What's that sauce? Foam, lime foam. Scallop's good, right? Mm -hmm. Now, while you're still chewing that, put that in your mouth. Right? Better by itself? Oh, yeah. Oh, I liked it all together. No, no, no. Way better. I'm a purist of seafood. However it comes, is how I want it. Maybe a little zest, a little lemon or something, but citrus not too. Last but not least, we have the dessert. Mm -hmm. And we're having... Big yum, big yum. The Tropic, and it's Lilikoi Mousse Guava Cake, Coconut Cremo, Compressed Pineapple, and Mango Gel. I, I love a mousse. Like anything mousse, um, I'm there. This is a big bite. punches you right in the face in such a pleasant way. <laughs> I'm going to try them. Compressed pineapple. Basically a regular pineapple. They compress it to kind of condense the, the flavor. Those dots are just really for show. They're not needed. Yeah, they taste good though. And then here's the guava cake. So sad. You don't get guava in them. It just tastes like a vanilla, like a dense vanilla cake. Very sweet. I'm getting a little bit of the aftertaste of guava, like the canned drink guava um, but that's it but mm. <coughs> that 
coconut praline. Okay. Mm. Together with the mousse. chocolate decoration which I'm not seeing it doing anything for the dessert because all those pleasant tastes of citrus just left my mouth and I didn't want it to leave yet sorry honey I'd have to go in again mm. that mousse is right so I'm gonna do is do the chocolate first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. It's good dark chocolate. Don't get no. me wrong. Look who woke up. Hey, big boy. He's still a little sheepy. Huh, baby? Yeah. He's got a little bit of dry lips. Yeah. Don't taste any different. The pineapple, right? Yeah, it's exactly the same. Yeah. Appreciate the effort. But... They tried. But this is a little dry. Yeah. But maybe that's just me. Because the way it looks on the outside, it's moist. And the inside, it's like rich. It's really dense. Yeah. So. Mm, it's good though. Yeah, it's not awful. It's just sweet. No. And not the guava I was looking for. Take a bite of it by itself, but then a bite with the praline. So take a bite over here. Mm. That's what I was waiting for. Right? Punches you in the face. Now take it with the coconut praline. It's the stuff? Yeah. They should have done a whole dome of the coconut praline yeah, on top really. of it because that's a great passion fruit and coconut is a great combo. I like an intense flavor. So. Yeah. Aw, oh, daddy gave him a little piece and it was too sour. Yeah. It's okay. It's too sour. All right. Crisis averted and that's okay. <laughs> I mean, if it punched us in the face, imagine the three-year-old. Um, so, I'm very surprised that he even took it and, like, was agreed to put it in his mouth. But, I hope we didn't scar him. <laughs> He's going to have some major trust issues now. <laughs> Woohoo! Having some fun. 6,000, see? <laughs> I told you. Yep, these are very expensive paintings. Your reaction. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure someone will pay for it. And that's why they do it. Because they wouldn't do it if they wouldn't make money off of it. Art. All over the place here. Scattered around through the park. With different styles. Sometimes the artist is here to sign it, like in person. These are so beautiful. Look at these. Wow, look at the Haunted Mansion. I love that one. Oh, look at the photo one. $595, $595, but look how cute. It's so funny. No, you're good. I'm going to stop right here. Okay. Mama, look. Spooky ghost house. And they have a smaller version of this one. How cute. 150. So cute. And so these are all. And these are $65 for this one. And the original canvas is $150. So that's not bad. It's like half off. 
a little a little more than half off actually look at this style it's a little splattered splattered paint on it it's really cute This one's 65 So maybe all the printouts are $65. We'll have to keep checking here. They're draw they're painting right here in person. Very cute. Look at this one. How oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's 65. Look at this one. Very pretty. I mean, it is. I mean, it is. I mean, The fifth regular price is $4.95. So the printout for $65 is not bad. This is the smaller version, the one fifty. dollars yeah, This is the pigment show on Epcot. Happen every 30 minutes, maybe every 15, but we caught it right at the 30 minute mark at 7 30. I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. And my name is Stephanie. Thank you for being a part of my world.